Welcome back to Rocket City, the Onward Spiral. Winning is something that the 0-1 Moon Men are not accustomed to. Of course, we're not accustomed to winning. Not everyone can beat Bama in their first game, but we knew this was going to be an uphill battle. The best way to improve, of course, is in the recruiting game. So far, recruiting has been excellent. For a school with really nothing to sell for players, we're doing way better than I ever could have expected. Like, we're doing so well on Daryl Owen, we have like a 1,500-point lead on anybody else, so I decided to move back on him a little bit, use our points elsewhere, so I'm only sending 100 points on him. He's that freaky athletic tackle with high potential. And we're the only one who's offered him a scholarship to this point, so I think we're going to be getting him. Really good chance to be our first recruit ever. I stacked all of our bye weeks in the beginning of the year, so technically we're in week five right now. I don't think we're going to beat Georgia Southern, but our first game against an FCS school, that might be a better chance. Let's schedule him for that one. We've got great progress on Lonnie Clayton as well. Nearly a thousand point lead over anybody else. Feeling good about Lonnie. Seriously, cannot wait to have this tight end. Lonnie Clayton would be a game changer. The newest recruit we have a lead on is J.R. Cotton, another wide receiver. 6'4", 213 pounds. Looks like Christian Herzner a little bit. Because Colt Smith is the higher overall at 71, he does get the higher bonus points in the playing time at A+. J.R. Cotton's only getting the C+, but hey, we're still doing pretty well on him. He's a tremendous route runner, but I think we would need to redshirt him. He needs to work on his catching really badly. Sorting by low lock percentage, there's a ton of guys that we could target, especially in the four star range. However, if you remember, we are only doing three stars and below. So for this first season, we're locked out. Marcus Gonzalez, I'd love to recruit you, but I can't. So now we're looking down in this range, the three star guys. A little more reasonable for us to get a lot of defensive players. We got defensive tackles, three more defensive ends. We do need some linebackers. So let's look at Scott Johnson. Also gonna target this tackle, Aaron Roberts. 6'6", 287 pounds out of Alvin, Texas. Only 20 bonus points, so we're going to need a lot of points to throw at him if we want to get this guy. Oh, he's got 84 strength. That's a great start for that. Got Johnson, 6'2", 225 out of California. Once again, similar story, only 30 bonus points. Really good tackler. 78 strength is a good sign, too. In the zone, coverage is a nice bonus. Cameron Dorsey, 6'3", 248 out of California as well. And once again, only 20 bonus points. He looks a little bit less impressive. He's going to have to really shine on his other attributes if he wants to stay on my board. But for our game, of course, Lee Corso is going with the Bearcats. The Moon Men are simply too garbage to have any faith in at the moment. Interesting. So week one, Cincinnati lost to Purdue. The spoiler makers spoil again. Maybe not to Alabama's level, but Cincinnati does have a lot of NFL players on their roster. Probably the biggest one is Sauce Gardner. Look at that coverage, maxed out everywhere. He's going to be a problem. And then you got my Jay Sanders. I'd be shocked if he doesn't get multiple sacks on us today. And then of course, Desmond Ritter, who might have a chance to be an NFL quarterback this coming season. Fairly balanced, so we'll see how he plays out in this video game. Shaky Bar, we meet again. You know it's never a good sign when your team averages negative rushing yards. Cincinnati, another top 15 team we're going against. Hopefully it's a little bit easier than Alabama. Oh, once again we win the coin toss. These guys gotta be shaking in their boots after that. Does it give me any more hope? Not really. Man, they really packed this house. This is just a tune-up game for them too. Coming around the edge and I whiffed. Phillip Pants! who's actually surprised me. He's played well. He got that interception in game one and he gets the first tackle of the day for us. Mari Jackson trying to use his speed. Veggie Smith, he's not great in coverage. Oh, Jason Hudgens gets stiff arm down. They're just physically imposing. We're not quick enough to get out there or intelligent enough to even cover them in the first place. And then when we do try to tackle them, they're simply too strong. Oh. We cannot shed the blocks at all. Roy Kent, he's everywhere. Don't let him go to the corner. And we get to him, Dylan Harris, with two ins. Who is that guy? Oh, he sheds the tackle, touchdown Bearcats. Well, we held him off longer than we held Alabama. So that's a win in my book. All right, let's try a little screen pass with Owen Boutte. He's got the blocks in front of him, and that's better than the runs we've been doing, that's for sure. We're just going to hit Desmond Rose and threw it way too early. We're lucky it wasn't picked. And once again, ooh, not a strong punt, but we're going to get a nice roll here. Oh, you love the NCAA 14 cheese. Hey, that's pretty good inside the 10. Unrealistic rolls. I'll take it. Dixon Butts there for the tackle. Oh, they got the dancing Bearcat. It's in all the pressure. Oh my goodness, look at that cut. Amari Jackson can't catch up to him. That's a 53-yard touchdown. And now they start to celebrate. 
Oh, a Wushu on the carry. I didn't even know that was the play we called. And getting a lot of motion is fun. Shout out to all the revamp guys who made all these plays. Cutting to the outside. Why is Blake Coffin in the game? He's so much slower. Anthony Burks, QB option right here. The read option's working. Oh, and he took a shot. He's hurt again. Poor guy. Man bruised his ribs in the last game, and he's already out again. My back. Burks, your sacrifice will not go unnoticed. We'll get a touchdown on this drive just for you. And we're hitting nuts and Kirkin. Who's breaking a tackle? Just need a yard. Good block on the edge. That's our fullback. And another block. That might be our best run in team history. Hit the fullback. Oh, horrendous accuracy from Rock. The Dwayne Jot. We got the tight end, Nuts and Kirkin, streaking down the middle. All right, we're going to wait for him to get open off of his back foot, but Owusu is still going to catch it. Anthony Burke's little wobbly pass. Oof. Just get out of there. There's like zero seconds to throw the ball on this team. That looks covered up. Run, Rock. Run. Oh, Owusu got open there at the end, but he just didn't throw the ball. So once again, we are not getting a touchdown in the red zone. We're probably not going to win this game, but I still want to try to take the points. Really test out to see how far Owusu can kick. And he absolutely nailed that one. 34-yard bomb from Owusu. Oh, he's keeping it. Amari Jackson. He whiffed. There goes Desmond Ritter down the field. Got that covered up. Now he's throwing it. Dixon butts. Yeah, he's like three yards behind his guy. There was just no hope. We're, we're too slow, just not skilled enough anyway. Simply outmatched here against the top 15 team. Tony Swole, use your big biceps and lead block. Psych! And he whiffed. How are you so swole and not able to block anybody? Oh, Owusu! What a release on Sauce Gardner of all players. Awusu can compete with the best of them. Look at him throwing them aside. Fourth down, of course we're going to go for it. Definitely out of field goal range, but maybe we can make this happen. I don't know if I can throw that far. And wow, the inaccuracy. We did not deserve that at all. Jason Hudgens trying to blitz and it did not work out. Jerome Ford, jeez. Oh, no pounder. Hit the quarterback. Good pressure on him. And oh, Eaton Beaver. That's my fault. That probably should have been a deflection or... At least a tackle after the catch. It is a good throw, though. Don't think I would have been able to deflect it, but I probably should have been able to tackle him after the catch. Oh, picked off. <laughs> Tried to force it into Owusu, and that is our first turnover of this series. Going underneath, Roy Kent. Oh, he tried to tackle him, but he's just too strong. Powers his way into the end zone. It's 34-3. to Really crushing. And that's going to take us to halftime. But man, what a physical dominating performance from Cincinnati in that first half. Of course, now that it's halftime, let's hear from today's NIL sponsor, Squarespace. Tony Swole wants you to get ripped. And the best way to do that is by going to his beautifully customized website he created using Squarespace. Tony said Squarespace is the perfect website to create a website or domain. It's an all-in-one platform that he uses to run his side hustle, Swole Patrol. Tony's intelligence, like me, is less than ideal. But thankfully, Squarespace is easy to use. They've got a variety of features and templates you can choose from. Like Tony, he set up a gallery of himself to show his future clients their fitness goals, aka just a bunch of pictures of himself. Squarespace also supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. He doesn't have anyone following him yet, so right now it's just Tony on his burner account praising his own biceps. Be like Tony. Upgrade your business or make that meme website with Squarespace today by taking advantage of my special offer for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by using my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert. Once again, get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by using my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring Tony and today's video. I'm going to let Burks get a little bit more reps. Come on, block for me. Ah! Oh, he's going to get a punt return, isn't he? Owusu can't break off the tackle, and that's going to be a touchdown. They just can't stop scoring. We're just going to try to hit Jack Nitro, who forgot the football. But we've kind of already established that this game is well and over, so I think we should just go for this fourth down. Doesn't matter. They, they might even score if we punted it anyway. Oh, across the middle. J.J. Thompson on the four verts. What a beautiful ball from Anthony Burks as well. 
floated it over the defense on this one. Wow, that was nice. Just roll out. There you go, Anthony Burks scrambling around. Can he make that throw? And that's picked off. Just not great accuracy. Did not place it where it should have been. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Holy. There's no hope. They're too strong up front. 49 to 3. Everybody's getting a chance to play quarterback today. So, of course, you got to bring in Danny Dorito. Gets it away. Owen oh, Boutte a couple yards again. There's Tony Swall. Look at those biceps. Hit Desmond Rose underneath. I'll take it. Do we have somebody just going down? Danny Dorito. Real tough. Oh, he's scrambling. Oh, I get exposed again. First time Kaushik is playing quarterback for this team. He's on special teams. Mostly he breaks a tackle. There goes Kaushik, the little man. That's a good chunk of nine. Got him. Oh, and he dropped it. Good play from Sauce Gardner once again. Go simple here. Fourth and inches. Just pick it up. First down. Just roll out. Oh, throwing on the run. Not his best traits. Just scramble. You got that running back, but I don't think you'd catch it anyway. They fumbled it. Oh, no. And Cow is down. Third turnover of the game. We've used four quarterbacks. All of them have failed at some point. <laughs> Just like we can't break off any blocks. Hank Anchor getting open again. Is this the drive? We got out of bounds. We got three timeouts, 16 seconds. Desmond Rose, go down, timeout. I don't see him. Just throw it away. Oh, we're going down. All right, it's going to have to be a Hail Mary. Four sacks for my Jay Sanders. We called it. Just give me enough time, O-line. They probably won't, though. Full send it to the end zone. Just nowhere near him. And it's going to end like that. 66 to 3. Through two games, we have scored six points. It may not seem like it, but we're showing improvement every single game. As Desmond Ritter goes off six touchdowns. So that game was probably worse than the Bama game. We threw three interceptions and we also had a fumble. And we didn't have a single turnover in the Bama game. Not really the direction we want to be heading. But I think we did discover some positive things in terms of our offensive production. Not only did we turn the ball over four times, but we got sacked six times as well. The numbers are not promising at the moment. And the running game, slightly better than against Bama, but still not very good. Samuel Wusu led us in receiving once again. Harrison Nutson Kirkin contributed quite a bit as well. I'm surprised our tight ends are doing so much for the team. And Alex Sorensen actually leading us in tackles today. Way to go, buddy. We only had one sack today. Dylan Harris. Dylan with two wins, of course. Owusu still has the only points for the team. Grand total of six points in team history. And he also had two more punts down inside the 20 with a long of 67, thanks to the bonkers bouncing of the ball in this game. The scoreline looks awful, but we nearly doubled our offensive production today. However, the opposing team got 500 yards, so that's never a good sign. Uh, the ADs tell me, your play calling was criticized in the Huntsville press after the loss to Cincinnati. Well, I'll tell you what, in the YouTube comments, it's probably criticized by my entire gameplay. But that's all good. We're a bad team. We may be bad now, but I still got hope for the future, of course. This is supposed to be a long journey. You're not supposed to get it on the first game. If you made it to this point in the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're a legend in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.